Hello guys, welcome back. Are you sick of me? It's another uh, Solo Laura estate sale series episode. Welcome back. Last time we went to an estate sale and, sort, and scored some vintage Christmas. This estate sale looks quite interesting. It's the second day, so I'm not really planning on finding anything that really amazes me, but it looks like there's a lot. So you never know. You know, some people like our number one tip when you're looking for vintage is to search every corner of every box of everything and you'll be surprised how many people don't do that and that's one way you can find some amazing things so that's why i'm not like discouraged going to a second day estate sale you never know where you're still going to find we're going to head in i'm hoping to find some christmas of course tis the season um and anything else that sort of sparks my interest we're gonna head in see what we could find and of course bring you guys along let's go The sales Janine and I primarily like to go to are called digger sales. So they will typically look something like this. I'll walk into the home, the estate sale, and things will pretty much be untouched. So the family or the homeowner has left the belongings of the estate and customers and people who are shopping the sale are encouraged to come through and go through the belongings as they are. They are called digger sales in our area. Um, and quite literally, you are encouraged to dig through the contents. Um, and when I walked into this sale, I was on the hunt for holiday. I knew that there was some Christmas here. I thought that there could be some older stuff, but I wasn't too sure. And I did come across some older pieces, um, like this little ceramic elf looked a bit older. So I snagged him. And as I'm looking through, I'm looking for mainly Christmas from the 1950s through to the 70s. It's what Janine and I collect, like this little Santa guy um, and these ornaments are all from the mid-century. They're really collectible. Um, we are truly collectors and we also, you know, dabble in some reselling to help fund our growing collection. I thought these satin ornaments were really pretty, um, but they probably did not come in these boxes. The boxes are not original to the ornaments. These boxes most likely had glass ornaments, which I could not find anywhere. So I put those back and I, you know, like I said, I took a look through everything. So I found this little basket, which at first glance, didn't seem like much, but I did find a little felted Santa and I had noticed that his head was in another basket. So I grabbed that, which is an easy repair. Janine and I also like to pick up things that, you know, because of their age, like we find a lot of things that are in poor condition are broken. Um, but we're always willing to, you know, for the most part, take things home and try to repair them. Um, and a lot of the times we can get things looking really great and almost new again. Um, you know, and it's part of what makes it so special is like being able to find something that needs some mending, fix it up and give it a whole new life. Um, so I'm digging through this box and then I spot the ceramic and I was so intrigued. It's the cutest Mr. and Mrs. Claus. I flipped it over and noticed a Lufton sticker. So Lufton is a ceramics manufacturer from the mid century. Um, this was more Sri Lanka, which is super interesting. So this was definitely not from the 1950s or 60s, but because it's a Lufton and because it's so stinking cute, I picked it up. I also came across this paper mache type snowman, which in hindsight, maybe I should have picked up. It's sort of that like paper mache material that was really uh, popular during the 70s, but I did end up leaving him behind in this bag where I found some other, um, you know, sun catcher type things and holly berries. I came across this pile of baskets that were marked. I know some baskets can resell really nicely. I just personally like this top one with the different colors. I thought it was pretty cool looking and would look nice displayed. And inside I came across a table that had some tally cards and different playing cards that were definitely vintage. They looked very 1970s to me. Um, and you know, sometimes there's Christmas ones. So of course I'm looking to see if there's any Christmas or holiday. Um, and then I turned around and saw Mr. Snowman. He was marked 65. I don't know if that's fair or too expensive. I guess for a collector who's looking for that piece, it might've been a fair price, but um, not something that I was looking for. I then came across a bar that was filled with, this was like a mid-century bar, and then a drawer completely fell out from under me, so I had to deal with that. Um, but I continued looking through the drawers because here I'm looking for party supplies. I'm thinking, well, a lot of people kept party supplies and napkins and things like that with the bar, um, so I'm hopeful for maybe some Halloween or Christmas ones. I found this stack of different coasters and napkins. They had like a baby one, which was sort of cute, and I'm hoping for something more holiday but I think I only came across this St. Patrick's Day one, which I thought was really cute with the little leprechaun. So I did end up picking that one up. Um, and you know, I'm checking every single 
want to make sure that there's no Halloween ones or Christmas ones hidden. There was this really interesting like straw box. So this was definitely older. It was fun to look at the packaging um, and just stuff that you don't really see anymore. So that was really cool. And I checked in this little box and came across some party blowers. You know, I always check kitchens as well for party supplies. I found Halloween noisemakers in kitchens at estate sale. So you never quite know what might be hidden. I came across a dresser that had a bunch of drawers with toys and I guess really games and card games. This family must have been really into cards. So I took a look at this and it was mainly cards and I don't know too much if these would resell or if there's certain brands to look out for. Um, so I really didn't, you know, take anything from here, but I did take a good look. I was hoping that there would maybe be some like cool, like, you know, board games or things of that nature, but it was mainly just cards. But I went through every drawer and in the bottom I found all these old slides which I thought was really cool. There were tons. I didn't film me going through all of them because it wasn't too exciting, but I found some pretty interesting ones and I'm pretty excited about what I did pick up. So you guys will have to stick around and see what I did grab. Um, this was a really cool drawer to look through. After that estate sale, I hit up another estate sale that was like right down the road. And this one looked like it had a lot of holiday in it. So we're gonna take you in and show you what I found here. Um, right away I walked into the kitchen and there was just tons of like new in-box kitchen appliances and things of that nature but we always typically go to the uh, basement that's where I always try to go first because that's where a lot of holidays hidden and there was a lot of holiday here I don't think it was hidden but there was just so much holiday look at this this person was definitely a collector now the majority of the stuff here was more modern so from the 1980s through to the early 2000s things that i grew up with um, that janine grew up with i did spot this really cute cookie jar that had a very vintage look to it but it was modern so i didn't pick it up um and here i'm just sort of looking through because like even though this stuff isn't like mid-century vintage there are a lot of christmas collectibles from all, you know, even today there are things that are Christmas that resell. Um, so you just gotta learn and know what to look out for. And I've been trying more recently to identify some of the newer modern Christmas stuff that can resell. So for example, some Fitz and Floyd stuff can really resell nicely. Even some Hallmark, you know, Disney, Snoopy. So those are sort of the things I'm looking out for as well as just like general things that we might like to pick up. Like these little tags I thought were really cute. They don't have any like value to them, but you know, it's fun to look through this entire collection. Like this woman kept all of her packaging materials. So I thought it was really incredible just to even look at. There's lots of snowmen and just really cool decor. I definitely could have spent a lot of time here looking up every single piece, um, but I wasn't really there to purchase a lot and to flip anything really. I was more so there to look for the vintage, look for things for our collection or, you know, just vintage Christmas. So I did come across this little guy. He's from Woolworth, made in Taiwan. So he's a bit older and I thought it was really cute. It was sort of like a honeycomb snowman Christmas tree thing. And then I turned around and there was even more. Oh my goodness. So there was like a whole basement's worth of holiday. This is would have been fantastic for anyone who was just like into holidays and, you know, do some Christmas shopping. Um, and there was even an entire little Easter section. And this little area had a bit more older things, like that little bunny ceramic statue in the back is real cute. It was probably painted in like the 80s or the 90s. I really loved it. Um, and, you know, I also came across this little basket of little plush that seemed to be a bit older, maybe from the 90s. I love this little pink bunny. I thought it was so cute, but Janine and I don't need any more plush, so I had to leave him behind. Um, and yeah, I mean, Easter is also collectible if you find vintage stuff, like true vintage from like the mid-century. I did spot this egg holder, which definitely was vintage. This was straight from the 70s. Um, I could just tell by looking at it, maybe late 60s. How fun is that? I didn't pick up anything Easter, but I continued along that shelf and I did spot these Halloween candles and these are fantastic. They're brand new in great condition in the original packaging and these definitely came with me. I went back into the Christmas side and this is actually the bar. It's hard to tell because there's so much Christmas stuff on it but this is the bar and it's just set up with all this Christmas decor. There was a flat back that was really cool. I wasn't too sure of the prices um, but I was really only picking up things that I really wanted. I did spot this fabric 
advent calendar and I learned my lesson from a previous thrifting trip where you guys said to pick up this Avon uh, fabric advent calendar. I wasn't sure what kind this one was but I looked it up on eBay and it is worth some money. Now a few of these pieces were missing I noticed so I wasn't too sure if I would pick it up but I decided to bring it up front and just get a price on it um, to see because you know somebody might have all the pieces or might be missing you know the actual calendar so I thought it might be good for a flip um, and I'm glad that I checked it so definitely check those like fabric advent calendars if you ever come across them because some of them are worth a decent amount of money I went back to just the piles of Christmas that was on one of the tables and I'm just making sure that there's nothing that I'm missing because you never know like like I said like I could dig through this and maybe find a knee hugger um, but from the looks of everything I really wasn't expecting that I did find those like matches those are hallmark probably from the 80s and they were new old stock so I thought those were cute I, I did pick those up um, but yeah I'm just like literally looking through everything and I continue to look through it even after I'm filming just to triple check um, I did come across this Inesco Cadillac Santa like a pink Cadillac I thought that was really cute I almost picked him up for our own personal use I thought he was really cute but then I remembered how much Christmas we already have at home so I did leave him behind and yeah if you really need some like wrapping paper gift bags all those different things for the holidays I highly suggest estate sales if you have them in your area usually the companies are really willing to do like a fantastic deal on those because that's you know it's sort of like the last of the things that they have to sell and nobody really usually picks them up um, so I actually Janine and I like to source a lot of our packing material for our sales at estate sales so a lot of the um, tissue paper and such we will pick up from estate sales I'm doing a last glance through. I did notice this really cute husky plush right here with the little collar. I thought this was so cute and something Janine and I would have loved to pick up, but not really allowed to pick up any more plush. We have so much of it. And then I noticed out of the corner of my eye a little plastic snowman. That should look familiar if you've watched a few of our videos in the past. Janine found recently a matching Santa that looks just like it, so I thought I should bring that one home to match the one Janine had found. I just couldn't get over the amount of stuff that was at this sale and again this was like the second day so I can only imagine how much more there was the first day. I took a second look over these ceramics. I knew just by looking at them that they were more modern but sometimes things can be a little tricky. Something, sometimes things can look a little bit um, newer than they actually are but these had barcodes and the makers were all more modern so I did leave those behind. And yeah, overall, this basement was incredible. I really do wonder what is going to happen to all this after, because um, I don't think they w ended up selling all of it. It's just amazing how much of it there was. Hopefully it does get donated. I did make my way to the uh, bathroom, and I spotted these, like, soaps. They were so nostalgic, the little soaps in sh different shapes. Um, so I just had to show that. The rest of the home didn't have too much, so I really didn't film much of it, except for this little angel that I did spot in a bedroom. She's a February, definitely an older 1960s angel, um, and I am a February birthday, so I picked her up. And I took one last glance in the kitchen, just because there was so much, like, packaged things. Um, I was just seeing if there was anything that we would potentially need, but I didn't see anything, and I headed out. Okay, so that was really interesting. Um... She wanted like 25 for the advent calendar. And that actually goes for like $50 on eBay, but the pieces were missing. So, and even if the pieces were there, 25, selling it for 50, shipping, all that stuff, like just wasn't worth it. But then guys, I wish I had captured it on camera, but like it was sort of like right next to the door on the way out, they had some other Christmas stuff. And she was just sitting there. Okay, so I stood there for like a good whole minute deciding whether or not to get her because she was thirty dollars um but i have never seen anything like her before um i'm gonna show you guys in depth in a second but i'm actually really happy i picked her up but i really was um sort of excited about those slides i think i filmed very little of it but i ended up getting some like old slides from the 60s like photographs i have no idea how i would develop those or i just know to hold them up to the light um but these people definitely traveled like they're i pulled let me see if i can get it like this one right here um it's from 1974 i don't know if you guys would be able to even see that but and it says canada trip um lake i can't read it but then it says japan and 
Banff, that's how you say it, in Canada. But if they went to Japan in the 70s, like, how cool is that? I also got, like, a Disney World set. Um, I picked up one that said Christmas or December. I was really looking for Christmas ones or Halloween ones. But I think these were from their travels, like, when they travel, traveled, traveled. Um, I hope that there's slides from Japan in the 70s because that's incredible. That's what's in here. But I got a bunch of these. So I, was, I paid $35. So because I just had such an interest in the photographs and stuff, um, I thought it was a good deal. The Christmas stuff in itself, like, yes, I guess I had a lot of pieces, but they, I don't know. Things have changed at estate sales. Things are more expensive. So I think it was a good deal um, overall. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what's in those photographs. That's really cool. All right, guys, I went to three estate sales this weekend and I'm going to just do the haul as all of them together. Um, I think I probably spent around $50 before getting the little angel up there, which I'll show you guys in a second. Wait, don't spoil it. Don't <laughs> spoil it. I want to show you guys. But I did grab this really nice made in Taiwan Gap uh, jacket. It's cute. I thought it was cute. It's definitely vintage and I'll be wearing this this fall. Show us the sleeve. And winter. It's real cute. cute little cuff. Yeah. So I picked this up. I thought it was nice. I think I paid like $5 for it. I did pick up a few things that we, or I ended up selling at our whatnot sale last Friday or Saturday. If you guys showed up to that, thank you for joining us. And those little like felt uh, Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus and the little mouse I picked up and those sold too as a set. So they're going to a new happy home and staying together, which is really nice. I also picked up some ceramics, which are quite interesting. Oh, those are so cute. This one, I was like, oh, it's cute. And then I flipped it over. It's actually a Lufton. Wow. Made in Sri Lanka. Oh. Very interesting. They have little holes on their hands. I think they were meant to sit on a swing. Oh. I think a string went through these and they sort of swung on something. Mm -hmm. This is definitely from like the 80s, if I were to guess, but I thought it was really cute. It is. And this one I think is a bit older. It has that like classic X and a bunch of numbers, mm -hmm. which we usually see on left in pieces. So I think this one is a bit older, probably had a few other matching elves to the set. So I found these two. I also found this really cute burlap dog probably made in Japan from the 60s or 70s. That's really adorable. Who do we have here? <laughs> These two are more modern, but I thought they were so silly. They're with their adorable. Dangly legs, so I picked them up as what well. What makes you think they're more modern? Um, not like not like super modern, but like 80s or 90s. Mm, okay. Um, just cuz they're felt the way they're constructed. They're really cute Can I though. Take a better look at them. Oh, those are really cute. Aren't they fun? Yeah. I also picked up this little flock Santa, which we come across often, but I've never seen one with a little holly in its hand. Yeah, that's really unique. This guy sold, so he's being sent over to a new home. I also found this February angel. I think she's a Lufton or a Napco, and lucky for me, I am a February birthday. So, it's I nice think... it has a little stone in it too. Yeah, it has the amethyst. I think I'm going to keep her. She's in really good condition. No maker mark on her, but really cute. If you are at our whatnot sale, we talked about these for quite a while <laughs> during our sale. I just think they're so nice. The satin balls are in there still, and they have like this hexagonal honeycomb like shape to them. I don't really know if it cool. Shows on camera. Yeah, it does. It reflects the light. But the reason I picked them up was for the packaging. The little Yuletide Santa mark right there. So cute. So fun. Um. But the ornaments themselves are really, really nice. Okay, I think I mentioned in the video that I saw a set of slides and it said Japan. <laughs> I feel so silly. I was looking at the slides and I realized now in hindsight it said Jasper because oh. all the slides are from Canada. But they're really pretty, even though it wasn't Japan. I thought that would have been really cool. But um, Canada in the late 60s and early 70s was really pretty. I'm going to put in some pictures of the slides up against the light so you guys can see here. There's also some pictures of their dog, which is really cool. Um, but my favorite slide that I found was a Christmas one. And there weren't a lot of Christmas slides, but I thought this one was really cute. And then I noticed something in the picture. I noticed that I actually picked up the stockings that are in the picture. So I thought that was incredible to come across two of the stockings that are in that picture from Christmas Eve 1967, I believe it was. That's so special. How special is that? How amazing, you know? Like, I just thought that was so fantastic. Um, so I feel like we have to keep the stockings and the slide together. Whether I keep these or pass them along, the slide will stay with these. Um, and I just thought that was so cool. I picked up a few other little things like Georgie, a classic. I oh found him goodness. in the basement and of course had to take him home. This little ornament and oh, silly. this Love little it. like a uh, plasticky snowman that matches the Santa that Janine found about a week ago. 
and some Halloween candles because you guys know awesome. if you are new to the channel, we're Halloween all year round here. So I think it was a really fun assortment. I'm going to pull down that angel and show you guys just her. Um, I paid 30 bucks for her, but I think she was a fantastic score. So I didn't capture her on camera at the estate sale because she was right near the door as I was, I had already paid for everything else and I saw her and I was like, how much for the angel? And she was only $30, which I think is a fantastic score considering the condition she's in. She is immaculate, guys. She's probably from the 50s. She has her original tag. She is a musical toy made by King Toys. She's just a musical angel. So she plays Silent Night and um, spins on her bass. She's definitely working. She just doesn't really work when I have her in my hand. She needs to sit on a table. But look, her wings are there. Her halo is there. Her face is like fantastic. And I just think she's so cute. She's pink. And um, yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with her. She's $30. I think like something like this, it's really hard to gauge the um, value on her because she's pretty rare. And in this good condition, she could probably go for definitely over $30, um, but I think she's gonna stay in the collection for a bit. She's gonna stay on the shelf and hang out with us this Christmas. Um, and yeah, she was my score of the day for sure. How do you think I did, Janine? I think you did really well. I just wanna run through one thing. Sure. She is kind of washed out, but she's a very like pretty pink in person, mm -hmm. but I don't know about the colors on camera, but she's- Like a she's, cotton candy pink. Yeah, she's much more pink than I think what is showing. Um, I think $30 for her is fantastic. Thank you. I agree. I think she was a score. And I think the other stuff I found too was really fun. And thank you guys for joining along. When Janine can't come, I'm happy to bring everyone else with me. So I think it was a really fun day. If you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. It's the best way to help the channel out. We really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining us. See you next time. Bye. Bye.